many of the ideas that we employed were very, very simple in nature. Turn things off when you're not using them, only turn them on when you're using them, it just, just makes sense, right? But the controls and the operations that go along with that can tend to get complicated. Now, uh, we use the same occupancy sensor, for example, to adjust the HVAC system that turns on and off the lights. In addition, that occupancy sensor also will turn off your low voltage power, the outlet in your room. Um, there's one outlet would stay on, in case you have something that needs to stay on, but there's another outlet that turns off. And the reason you'd want that is there's so many ghost loads. So you had to make connections to the control system to control the HVAC, to the control system that controls the lighting, as well as the power. Now, um, that was done primarily through uh, one large lighting control system. And uh, it's a very robust system where each light fixture, each control point has an IP address. So it's totally reprogrammable. Another huge benefit when you get into that later is when you build a wall, take one room and turn it into two, you can re-switch the lights without calling an electrician. They're actually uh, remote control. You have a little remote and you say, this light here to this switch here. And all of a sudden you've reprogrammed the lights. Flexibility is very important for the USGBC. It's important that they can move things when they need to. And so from that, we have the control system, the lighting controls where we can relocate lights. But in addition to that, all the thermostats are wireless. So when you rebuild walls through two screws, you move it over and put two screws in and you've relocated the thermostat. It's recontrolling the box. So it just helps leave with all flexibility. And that's also why their offices are actually built out of systems furniture so they can all be moved around.